Hi, this is Misha with iHeartRadio Animal Talks, the talk of San Diego, and I'm here with... I'm Linda, and we're here from Big Imperial Beach Time Co. And my girl over here... Linda Septon, Adoption Counselor at Chula Vista Animal Care Facility. And Tiana Torres, Animal Care Specialist here. All right, we're going to just chit-chat today about the importance of adoption, spayed and neutered, the whole nine yards. So, again, my girl Linda... What do you consider in your experiences around the animal care facility itself? Well, it's a great experience. The nice thing is that people are very open-minded about always, you know, evolving and what's best for the animal. Year, I mean, I started this years and years ago, a lot of years ago, and cats used to just live in little tiny cubbies, and you didn't really get to see their personality or anything. Here, we have. 16 free roaming rooms where cats can come in and it's almost like a bedroom setting for them and you really see their personality you see how they interact with other cats and then when a person comes into a room you see how they interact with it because you know it all boils down to chemistry who gets along with what animals humans you know animal animal relationships so the great thing about this shelter is that we're always evolving mm -hmm. Growing new transformations, right? Exactly. And how long have you been here? I've been at the shelter almost 12 years. 12 years? And my girl? I'll be here 12 months in July. Oh, so 12 years and 12 week. months, a yeah. very uh, different experience <laughs> level. Now we ask Linda, what is your experience level being here? My Tiana? Uh huh. Yes. Um, I love the facility. Um, I, I love that they give me an opportunity to express who I am and bring to the table what I come with. I have a behavior background, so a lot of what I've been doing has been training the animals, take a couple of them off to the side and work with them. If I find that they're potty trained, they go out for regular walks, I make that happen. Um, I, I love the facility here. Everybody absolutely loves the animals and is here 110% for them. And we are at Chula Vista. Animal care facility. Chula Vista Animal Care Facility. And Located where, Gianna? <laughs> 130 by your way. Yay! <laughs> where she's at. She does get to work on time. I <laughs> knew. Thank you. So, what are some of the services that the animal care facility provides for the public and the community? Well, overall, the animal shelter, our main goal is rabies control. State of California is a rabies control state. That's why people ask you, is your dog licensed? It means it does your, the license equals that your dog has a current rabies shot. Mm -hmm. So that's the, that's the number one reason why there's an animal shelter is for rabies control. Next, it's for stray animals. You know, stray animals that are on the street, we don't want them getting injured. We don't want them causing car accidents. We don't want them attacking people. So stray animals, our patrol officers also go out on investigation calls, abandonment issues, um, neglect, um, rattlesnake calls, especially this time of the year as the weather's warming up. If you have a rattlesnake, who do you call? Chula Vista Animal Care Facility. Um, and the officer will go out there, capture the snake, and relocate it. We do not euthanize the rattlesnakes anymore. Um, we do locate them into an area where there is um, no nearby homes or, or um, um, stores or anything like that. We put them in a rural area. Okay, keep them safe from the public. Exactly. <laughs> because the public will hurt them. Exactly. <laughs> and, you know, we need rattlesnake. I mean, there's a reason why all these animals are around is for, you know, pest control, pest control things like that. So, um, so that's when another call that the officers go on. Here at the shelter, we are here. This is where you look for your lost pet. If you've lost a pet, you want to come to the shelter in the area where your pet became missing. We, we do fall under jurisdictions here at the Chula Vista Animal Care Facility. We handle the city of Chula Vista, Imperial Beach, National City, and Lemon Grove. I know Lemon Grove's a little far away, but they contract with us. So this is where you look if you lost a pet in those areas. And unfortunately, a lot of our dogs and cats, especially our cats, do not get claimed by their owners. So that's the first thing you need to remember is if you do lose a pet, come look at the shelter. If you find a lost pet, bring it to the shelter and bring it to the shelter as soon as you can. We, unfortunately, we do have a lot of people saying, hey, I found this dog two weeks ago. I can't keep it. 
and then they bring it to the shelter and unfortunately by then a lot of owners have given up looking for their lost pet. So it's very important if you find a lost pet, bring it to the shelter as soon as possible. The next thing is, is hey, what happens to those animals that don't get um, claimed by their owners? Well, we're going to put them up for adoption if behaviorally, medically, they're good. Not even we don't age, um, breed, none of that matters. We're looking at more behavioral and medical health of these animals, and we want to find them home. So, you know, come adopt from us. Don't shop. That's the big important thing is, you know, there's lots of animals here at the shelter that need that second chance of having a forever home and that's what we're here for. We also offer services as low-cost spay neutering for low-income families. Um, we do tend to fill up fast when those dates open. Um, and, you know, if you're watching this past and you're going, hey, how can I help out? You can always donate and sponsor a spay neuter clinic. Um, we're always looking, if you're a business person and you want to help your community, sponsoring a spay neuter clinic, I think it costs between $1,200 and $1,500. That's 20, 25 animals can be spayed and neutered with that donation. Um, so that's always very important. So who do I contact when it comes to that? You can contact our director, Mandy Mills, here at the Chula Vista Animal Care Facility. You can go to our website, which is www.cbacf.org, and click on Contact Us and say, hey, I want to help out with uh, over pet population. I want to sponsor a spay neuter clinic. And what's that website again? www.cbacf.org. It's the initials for the Chula Vista Animal Care Facility. Mm -hmm. And Linda, what's the phone number that someone can call if they are questioning about whether you have their lost pet? Well, I'm going to tell you first, Linda, is we are very short-staffed here. So if you can first go and use the internet, since we are internet-based here, go to PetHarbor.com, that's P-E-T-H-A-R-B-O-R.com, and click on the Chula Vista Animal Care Facility. There's a Lost a Pets section in there that's updated every 13 minutes. The photos aren't pretty. I tell people it's like when the celebrities get arrested, but at least you can kind of see if your pet is physically here at the shelter. Um, but our main number is 619-691-5123. Um, we answer those phone calls when staff's allowed. You know, we, we are multitaskers here, so if we're not picking up the phone, it's because we're helping a person physically in front of us. Leave a message and we'll get back to you as soon as, you, as we can. And what, what uh, are your operating hours? Our operating hours are Tuesday through Friday from 10 to 5 and Saturday from 10 to 4. And the one quick question too. Uh, a lot of times people might check the facility to see if they, if they have a missing pet. And uh, it would it be a, a good suggestion to not just check once but check two or three times? Uh, because a lot of times if they don't show up the first time that, uh, that you're looking for, they could, somebody could drop them off at a later time. Absolutely. I recommend that people check with us like once every three days. We are closed Sundays and Mondays. Our officers are working on those days. So once again, check that Pet Harbor website. But, you know, and I, I, I always recommend people to check every one, one to three days and keep on going for a month. Check for 30 days and see if your pet shows up here at the shelter. We just got a dog in this um, past week. Um, he had a microchip, and we can flesh out microchips in another segment, but microchips are awesome as a former patrol officer. This pet's been missing since October. Um, he came in, we scanned the microchip, contacted the owner, she told us he's been missing since October. I am on my way down to get my dog back. Mm -hmm. So do you provide microchip? We do offer a microchip clinic anytime the shelter is open through those operating hours. Um, the cost is $30 for us to do the microchip and then there is an $8 registration fee with the microchip company to, to um, register nationwide but you will be registered at our shelter with that information. Um, we do dogs and cats, rabbits, don't bring me your iguana, don't bring me your parrot. Those require a specialty veterinarian to do the microchip in. But dog, cat, rabbit, we can microchip that for you. Mm -hmm.